We're here with Jeff Pedreau and Travis Feehill. We're going to dig into the details about Dell's big data protection announcement. Guys, good to see you. Thanks for coming good in. Good to see you. Thank you for having us. You're very welcome. All right, let's start off, Jeff, with the high level. You know, I'd like to talk about the customer, what challenges they're facing. You're talking to customers all the time. What are they telling you? Sure, as you know, we do. We spend a lot of time with our customers, specifically listening, learning, understanding their use cases, their pain points within their specific environments. Um, they tell us a lot. Uh, no, just no surprise to any of us that data uh, is a key theme that they talk about. Uh, it's one of their most important assets. They need to extract more value from that data to fuel their business models, their innovation engines, their competitive edge. Uh, so they need to make sure that that data is accessible, it's secure, and it's recoverable, especially in today's world with the increased cyber attacks. Okay, so maybe we could get into some of those, those challenges. I mean, when, when you talk about things like data sprawl, what do you mean by that? What should people know? Sure, so for those big three themes, I'd say you know you have data sprawl, which is the big one, which is all about the massive amounts of data. It's the growth of that data, which is growing at an unprecedented rates. It's the gravity of that data and the reality of the multi-cloud sprawl. So stuff is just everywhere, right? Which increases that service uh, attack space for uh, cyber criminals. And by gravity, you mean the data is there and people don't want to move it. It's everywhere, right? And so when it lands someplace, I think edge, core, or cloud, it's there. And that's it's something we have to help our customers with. Okay, so just it's nuanced because complexity has other layers. What are those layers? Sure. Um, when we talk to our customers, they tell us uh, complexity is one of their big themes, and specifically it's around data complexity. We talked about that growth and gravity of the data. We talk about multi-cloud complexity, and we talk about multi-cloud sprawl. So multiple vendors, multiple contracts, multiple tool chains, and none of those work together in this you know, multi-cloud world, then that drives their security complexity. So we talk about that increased attack surface. But this really drives a lot of operational complexity for their teams. Think about, uh, we're lack consistency through everything. So people, process, tools, all that stuff, which is really wasting time and money for our customers. So how does that affect the cyber strategies? And this, I mean, I've often said the CISO, now they have this shared responsibility model. They have to do that across multiple clouds. Every cloud has its own security policies and, and frameworks and syntax. So maybe you could double click on your perspective on that. Sure, I'd say the big, you know, the big challenge customers have seen is really inadequate cyber uh, resiliency. And specifically, they're feeling, feeling very exposed. And today, as the world, with cyber attacks being more and more sophisticated, if something goes wrong, it is a real challenge for them to get back up and running quickly. And that's why this is such a, a big topic for CEOs and businesses around the world. You know, it's funny. I said this in my open, I, I think that prior to the pandemic, businesses were optimized for efficiency. And now they're like, wow, we have to actually put some headroom into the system to be more resilient, you know? I mean, you hearing that? Yeah, we absolutely are. I mean, the customer is really, they're asking us for help, right? It's one of the big things we're learning and hearing from them. And it's really about uh, three things. One's about simplifying IT. Two, it's really helping them to extract more value from their data. And then the third big, big piece is ensuring their data is protected and recoverable regardless of where it is, going back to that data gravity and that very, you know, the multi-cloud world. Um, just recently, I don't know if you've seen it, but the Global Data Protection, uh, excuse me, the Glo Global Data Protection Index. GDPI. Yes. <laughs> Not to be confused with GDPR. Actually, that was uh, released today and uh, confirms everything we just talked about around customer challenges. Uh, but also it highlights the importance of having a very cyber, a robust cyber resilient data protection strategy. Yeah, I haven't seen the latest, but I, I want to dig into it. I think this, you've done this many, many years in a row. I like to look at the, the, the time series and see how things have changed. All right, at, at a high level, Jeff, can you kind of address why Dell, in, from your point of view, is best suited? Sure. Uh, so we believe there's a better way or a better approach on how to handle this. Uh, we think Dell is uniquely positioned to help our customers as a one-stop shop, if you will, for that cyber resilient uh, multi-cloud data protection solution and needs. Uh, we take a modern, a simple, and resilient approach. Well, what does that mean? What, what do you mean by modern? <laughs> sure, so modern, we talk about our software-defined architecture, right? It's really designed to meet the needs not only of today, but really into the future. Uh, and we protect data across any cloud and any workload. So uh, we have a pr proven track record doing this today. Uh, we have more than 1,700 customers uh, that trust us to protect them more than 14 exabytes of their data in the cloud today. Okay, so you said, uh, Modern, 
simple and resilient. What, what do you mean by simple? Sure, we want to provide simplicity everywhere, going back to helping with the complexity challenge. And that's from deployment to consumption to management and support. So our offers will deploy in minutes. Uh, they are easy to operate and use, and uh, we support flexible consumption models for whatever the customer may desire. So traditional, subscription, or as a service. And when you, when you talk about resilient, I mean, I, I put forth that premise, but it's hard because people say, well, that's going to going to cost us more. Well, it may, but you're going to also reduce your, your risk. So how, what's your point of view on resilience? Yeah, I think it's it's something all customers need. So we're going to be providing a comprehensive and resilient portfolio of cyber solutions that are secure by design. We have some, ver uh, some unique capabilities in a combination of things like built-in immutability, physical and logical isolation. We have intelligence built in with uh, AI-powered recovery. Uh, and just one, I guess, fun fact for everybody is uh, we have, our Cyber Vault is the only solution in the industry that is endorsed by Sheltered Harbor that meets all the needs of the financial sector. So it's interesting when you think about the, the NIST framework for cybersecurity, it's all about layers. You're sort of bringing that now to, to data protection. Correct. Yeah. All right, in a minute, we're going to come back with Travis and dig into the news. We're going to take a short break. Keep it right there.